is Wednesday night, November 20th, the time of recording this. Who knows when you're going to be checking this out. Garrett here. We are at City Clubhouse. First time with those new mics we've been teasing. These are dope. This graffiti is dope. Uh, we had just got done about an hour ago, actually, the uh, owners meeting concluded for Detroit City FC, which was mostly a end of season recap of the footballing season, which had Danny DiCchio, Coach Danny DiCchio, Sporting Director Trevor James there. A little bit of details on the stadium. So uh, real quick stadium notes, it seems like uh, groundbreaking is still aiming to take place in there. Um, if you're unsure of an idea, uh, mention the can- take a look at the Kansas City current. Um, that helps out with the timetable for the stadium, um, but essentially with a bare site as is. So things are looking good. They're aiming for. They're still looking on timetable for that beginning of 2027 goal. Now on to the football. Um, I think it's safe to say we've learned that the loss uh, by Detroit City via penalty shootout to Tampa Bay Rowdies did not sit well with this team, especially did not sit well with Danny DiCchio. If there's something that I think I can learn, um, we've seen how Dan Campbell's talked about hating to lose and um, how much he wants to even when we beat a team 52-6, he wants to see more. Danny DiCchio, to me, seems that same mindset, except English. Um, I think we're hungry. I think it's City fans, what to look for in 25. I think this is a motivated team that's going to be coming in. A little bit of some details on there. So the roster announcements that came out yesterday, um, there were six names of out-of-contract players that were not mentioned into that sheet. Um nothing completely too much except it looks like a couple of those players are in contact with the club for returning as you can kind of see earlier on our majors detroit twitter page on there um clubs should be close to officially announcing the return elijah Jop, that exact like how many years on the deal we did not get elijah Jop will be back for detroit city fc in 2025 also while not officially while not named who and what two to three new players on the horizon for detroit city fc Um, finalizing details with the league as far as paperwork and getting everything sorted so they can officially announce those. When those players will be announced, who knows? But it seems to be very exciting, to say the least. Um, And I think just based off of the little hints that we've gotten, it's exciting times moving forward to be a Detroit City Football Club fan. So, um, I'm trying to think. Adam, anything else you wanted to add or anything else that I'm missing in there behind the camera? Uh, What was your least favorite question of the night? (laughs) <laughs> um but yeah other than that though that is about it here um news on the masl sun um first home game listed for january 4th as mentioned they don't have the complete schedule because that is still being in the works um for those you should start saving up your money because those that were asking if the women's indoor kits are going to be on sale it looks like one if not both will be on sale i think one of them will be on sale at the club shop when the time i don't know if they were saying for the season ticket event but definitely for the um 2025 season uh 2020 end of 2024 beginning of 2025 season kit unveil look for that in mid-december so um yeah fun details fun night um great to get back into that mindset of this 2025 to come for the detroit city fc um i mean i don't know we're kind of going to be checked out we'll probably do some recording make city make spence beginning of next week before the thanksgiving holiday maybe a tunnel talk in there too uh just be on the lookout for that and yeah for adam behind the camera garrett here this fine painting in the city clubhouse and everyone else to check it out um have a great night we go onward (laughs) 